Hello and welcome to my video on the easy way to install valve springs on your SR20 DET head. This is a head off of an S14 and as you can see I've installed a couple valve springs already and I was doing it the difficult way and I injured myself and lost a couple pieces and so I started looking for a better way to install these valve springs. Originally I had bought a tool from basically a parts store and found out that this type of tool does not work on these deep bucket overhead valves. So and I started looking online and I found a uh, snap-on tool that worked the only problem is it costs like $200. So I basically made Originally I was compressing the springs with the tool by as such and just pushing down and trying to fit these little keepers on the uh, spring retainer or the valve retainer and that wasn't working and I looked online and there were some suggestions about putting grease on these to hold them in the retainer while you're pressing down on them and that kind of worked I got a couple in that way but it was still pretty difficult and part of the problem is the valve when you're pushing down on this it was pushing the valve out of the cylinder head just enough to where you couldn't compress the spring far enough to get the keeper on there. So to solve this problem I took a about a 9 16 nut and some tape and before trying to put the valve springs on you just lift up the cylinder head and put the tape tape the uh, nut to the bottom of the valve to kind of push it back up into the head while you're pushing down on the spring now that the nut is taped to the underside of the cylinder head holding that valve in place it's time to put our keepers into the re spring retainer or valve retainer we'll do this by putting some grease on each one This seems tedious right now, but trust me, doing it the way I was doing before I made this video, I took about an hour per spring, and now I did the last three in under 15 minutes. I'm kind of slowing down a little to do the video. So we put that back in the cylinder head, and then get ready to position it using our tool and the handle on the tool that I made is not very wide so I use gloves to kind of help with pushing down on the handle it's pretty narrow and without the gloves it kind of digs into my hand so we push position the tool like this and then I use a uh, portable light to get a better look in there so I can see what I'm doing. 
and then I just use a short piece of um, eighth inch stainless steel to help me position stuff while I'm pressing down on the spring and compressing the spring. And that was it. As you can see, the retainer is now there. It's better without the light. The retainer is now in place. And you just repeat this for all the valves.